Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been some time since my last video. So um, I'm going to talk about another legendary device today. So uh, in my previous videos, uh, I have actually talked about how you could revive your Symbian NR Belly device to repurpose them for the year 2021. So we're going to look at a similar legendary device, the Nokia N9 today. So a bit about the Nokia N9, the Nokia N9 was actually launched in the year 2011, June 2011. So it's been 10 years since this magnificent device was actually launched and it came with some funky, beautiful colors that I think all of us are familiar with. So these are the four colors, primary colors that it came with. So you have the black, the magenta, uh, the rare, white and the cool cyan. And along with the announcement, they also announced the Nokia Play 360. So the Nokia Play 360 is another rare device uh, which I think is um, a beautiful unique device which um, probably would have excited a lot of people back then in the year 2011 so it came with NFC so all you need to do is just tap the device and you can see that uh, the light would uh, switch to blue so that means the device has been connected and all you need to do is play whatever media contents that you want and it will be shown here that just tap to connect or disconnect so now it has been disconnected now a lot of innovations back then which excited a lot of the Nokia fans uh, in the year 2011 and I'm pretty sure that a lot of us missed the Nokia N9 Nokia N9 was basically dead and unrivaled was running the MIGO operating system which did not receive the love that it needed because right after the Nokia N9 was announced a similar device was this so you can see how similar these devices are on the exterior except for the presence of a camera button so this device is not running Mego, but this device is running windows so windows 7.5 which was later upgraded to windows 7.8 so that's a way to kill a legendary device now <clears throat> a lot of us would definitely be owning uh, the nokia n9 probably wondering uh, what they could do with it uh, if you have this device, if you know what the device are, and probably you already know how to use this in the year 2021. So um, this is probably more apt for those of you who are curious on the Nokia N9. Uh, the Nokia N9, although rare, uh, although it was dead and rival, you can still pretty much get it in most of the online retailers these days. Uh, it sells for a cheap price and you can pretty much easily buy one. But do bear in mind that most of the time this device would be running on a Chinese firmware. So in the later part of the video, I'll tell you how you could actually uh, get into the European uh, software which has less restrictions. So we need to address the most important thing in uh, uh, probably having this uh, device to run perfectly in the year 2021. For the first step is to own an OK N9. So if you have the Nokia N9 with you, so just pick it up and just uh, listen to me. Now, uh, these steps are not created by me. Uh, these softwares are not made by me either. So credit goes to the original poster. So what I've done is basically just curate the uh, needed software and also simplify the steps. So you can do this easily without any hassle. For this uh, project, you would need a PC, a Windows running uh, computer. You would need a micro USB cable and all the required softwares will be shared in a Google Drive along with the detailed steps on how to go about it. So here I'm just going to give you a brief overview on how you could basically boot up the device and sort of use it uh, in a more meaningful way in the year 2021. So if you're tired with the dumb phones these days then uh, this is probably suitable for you. So the Nokia N9 has a fatal flaw. The fatal flaw is that the power button gets recessed over time. Now this probably may be related to extensive use but I've also noticed it happening on my other Nokia N9 devices which I use rarely. So over a period of time the buttons get recessed and there is no way of booting up the device. So a clever hack to this is actually to uh, boot this device using a micro USB cable. So you need an app or software called Flasher. So with a Flasher app you can actually run some uh, instructions that actually convert the input for the micro USB to charge as an instruction to boot up the device. So with this you can actually easily boot up the device by just connecting it to a micro USB cable. Now once you've done that you would definitely want an option to switch off the device. So this is where the subsequent steps comes in. So for that you need to install 
an app called as Warehouse. So Warehouse is like the app store for the Nokia N9. You can find a lot of software stores, a lot of games there, which makes this device still relevant. Uh, the browser per se, we have Opera, you have Firefox, which may not uh, be able to run at its full capacity, but it sort of gives you some option to scroll through certain things. Uh, you've got a lot of games, definitely some apps that you might find useful still there. So one of the apps that you might want to install is the Power On and Off app. So with that, you can actually, sorry, Power Off app, which actually gives you the option to switch off or reboot the device. So now you can easily switch on the device by just connecting it to a micro USB cable and you can switch it off using an app uh, which is software based. So uh, I have this Power Control app, if you could see. So the power control app allows you to either switch off or reboot the device so it gives you an option so i've already switched it off so as simple as that now most of the uh, articles or the uh, or the uh, steps they do not include on how to use the gps on this device so i'm going to show you how you can still use the gps on the device so for that you need to wake the device up so it's so simple, all you need to do is get your micro USB cable, connect them. So once you've connected your micro USB cable to the device, you'll have this sign popping up. So this is the sign. So you can see that it will be converting the uh, instruction. So now you have the power to boot this device up. So just leave it on and then you will see that it's actually will boot up pretty soon So as simple as that, you can actually boot the device up. Now, one of the few things that were missing in the original post was actually how to use the GPS uh, or the navigation system. So for this, the instructions are similar on how to get the maps and the uh, navigation to work in the Nokia N8 post. So it's the same step. So all you need to do is to visit the same website I'll share the link in the Google Drive so you can actually do that. Now, um, once you've installed that, then you are able to use the map offline. And now I'm unable to run this in an online mode, but you can certainly use it in an offline mode. So, uh, I'm just going to show you that it works. So, this is as you can see, this is the uh, navigation app. So, I'm going to set a destination here. Okay, I'm just going to type into a random destination. So you'll see that uh, it will pop online, but and then you're unable to search it online. So the only option is to search it offline. So once you search offline, then it works pretty well. And you click on that and you press drive through. Uh, it's going back to the online. Okay, start navigation. So that's about it. And you're able to use the navigation system. So pretty much you have a new app store. Uh, you can use the navigation offline mode and you have a way to wake the device up and also to shut down the device which is pretty much all you need to do now why you want to have this device uh, it will make a very good backup phone or a second device or a weekend device it still has a relevant design still has a relevant operating system you might not have all the social apps that you need but it's pretty good for you to do some minimal browsing uh, use it for a phone call or not or you can also use it to take uh, good pictures with the Carl Zeiss enable 8 megapixel shooter over the back. Now if let's say that uh, you don't own a Nokia N9 but you would like to try this you can simply buy a Nokia N9 from any third party online retailers but like I said most of the time we'll be running on a Chinese firmware so I'm going to share a link on how you can actually convert the Chinese firmware to 
uh, a European based firmware. So the Chinese firmware run with the code of uh, PR003. The uh, ones available worldwide would usually be somewhere around PR001. So there's no way to convert or downgrade it from 003 to 001. The only way is to upgrade it. So PR480, if I'm not mistaken, is a firmware for Switzerland or New Zealand. So you can use this actually to uh, sort of uh, enable more options because the Chinese firmware is restricted. You don't have the option for developer modes and uh, certain apps are missing. So the first step is actually to flash this uh, PR480 into a PR003 and then the subsequent steps of installing the, um, the App Store, the maps are the same. So the detailed description will be given there. Now, uh, when you're sort of uh, flashing it with the newer firmware, you might get some error message, but don't worry about it, just carry on. And then when you check the settings, it will show that it's been flashed to PR480. But do keep in mind that the uh, PR480 does not support the uh, communication uh, required software so it still has to use the communication software for uh, the ones that came with the PR003 so there will be two files one is the PR480 file in the Google Drive and the other is the PR003 so you're going to first flash it with the PR480 firmware and then you're going to uh, flash it again but only the communication required software on PR003 so this will allow you to have an European based uh, software for the phone as well as being able to use your sim card for the device so uh, if you actually like this video do comment do share or subscribe to my channel i uh, will be posting uh, whenever i have the free time it's pretty hard to say when but uh, if you like this video just like and subscribe that will help me a lot in the long run so see you again in the next video i hope all of you take care and stay safe bye bye